Hey guys, my name is Thiago Porto and I'd like to show you the quick demo that I did here in New York for the Flame user group. I think there is cool techniques and workflows there, especially to work between teams or different others. So uh, I'm going to try to show you here uh, those, those techniques. Also, uh, thank you, I would say thank you very much for Andy and team for the great, great uh, uh, work they did for make the flame user happen it's so good to see it and there is such a good energy on that so guys thank you very much it was really fun to be there and thanks for the invite as well it's we it, it is really special so uh okay let's move on okay so first of all uh i have three quick demos it's the first one it's about the ai rotobot thing and how that works and uh, my discoverings and things so I think it's interesting just to 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 have that in flame in the first place but also how we can have quick rough rotos to play around so it's really powerful in my opinion and that's the first demo the second demo it's about a workflow that I've been working on and myself between nuke and flame uh, I'm I really like to use nuke and also flame together and the I'm using Pybox and in a different way to make that happen. So on that workflow it's really good because it seems seamless. It seems just one single software so we don't I don't need to it's like a flame environment uh, but with different tools and different buttons. So for me it looks just one single thing because of that. So that that's what makes Pybox powerful and that's I want to try to show you guys the third one it's a uh, it's a little bit more complex but also really cool which is about uh, the new plugin for Nuke called Eddy uh, Eddy is really powerful plugin to do particles and simulations on GPU uh, especially if you if you have RTX cards uh, for NVIDIA and it's really really powerful plugin uh, and what I built for me, it was a, a workflow using Pybox so I can continue working in Flame. I can render and batch, I can change lights and batch, and uh, I can do stuff, continue doing stuff. So let's say if uh, I'm working something, someone was working Eddy and make some simulations that's being approved, then but now I'm working different background or different matte painting or the clients change the grades, whatever, we can and still in flame quickly change the light and the look of the render of those particles and make that uh, inside batch. So I don't need even go uh, out of flame to play around. So that I think it's really also a really powerful workflow and that's, uh, that's I want to try to show you guys. Uh, so that's it, let's move on to the second one. Uh, this is uh, my workflow between Nuke and Flame. So what you have here, it's a sh simple shot, nothing crazy about the shot, but it's like say we need to comp some screens on those TVs. So, so let's say, let's do a brief. So let's say we, have, we need to create those contents for each monitor. So let's say we need to do a matte painting or whatever and and also I need to comp all the screens together of course. So uh, so ideally what I'm doing here it's like two tasks, different tasks. One person is going to be creating all the contents, let's say matte painting, let's say you need to just clean up some shots, it needs prep, it need, anyway it needs prep that for the screens. And the other person is going to be comping and all the uh, it's going to be comping the screen actually so they all be working the same time to save the, the to working faster so this is the shot as you can see it's just like a simple uh, very straightforward comp but let's uh, but ideally uh, yeah someone will be comping that and another person will be creating the content for each monitor so what's happening here let's say uh, in the flame side we are working on this all this 
contents for each monitor so it'd be some time consuming maybe we are with clients in the session so a lot of back and forth before we move to the comfy stage so this is going to be one tv there's going to be another tv there's going to be another tv and let's say this being weeks so at least days until we got the final results for that so meanwhile uh, so meanwhile another person is working on the nuke uh, to make the screen comps to make so we're doing 3d tracking or whatever to make that happen so but and here is the final result that we got this is actually rendering in flame but it's actually been done in nuke so the person that was working in nuke was doing that was you know so it's this is the whole setup it's been done in nuke so this is really insane in my opinion and it's really powerful workflow so because this is being rendering here but you're using nuke that means we can change things so that's exactly what, what I'm going to do but first of all let's show you how Pybox works so uh, first of all this is the Nuke Pi box that I've been doing. This is the Nuke Pi box from Autodex. So they, the only difference here is that I choose where to uh, things are gonna uh, gonna render, and also the Nuke version that I'm using. So we need to go on that file and change those settings before that it works. So that is the only thing that you have to do. Like make sure they're pointing to the right Nuke, and also choose like a really fast hard drive. Uh, so now here I'm gonna call the nuke script that I've been working on and where I did all those screen comps so it's this this one here so uh, this one has the you can see here that it's already moved so we have the input now and the nuke script it's working and it's rendering here in flame which is really cool and because of that because you are rendering here that means you can change things right so let's say let's say the shot one so in some point the client asked to change or even a grade was changed or we have to change the background somehow anyway so it's uh, we are not attached and what I'm doing here it's actually re-rendering the things in an EXR mood channel uh, so the new script is using the EXR mood channel to feed out the monitor on their comp. Uh, so this is a simple EXR mood channel rendering. So, but the thing is, you can just have one file, and because it's mood channel system, you can actually naming and do stuff. And because we are gonna render always the same file. Uh, that same file going to be replaced on the server and that means it, it will update the nuke scripts automatically so you can see here that you have uh, a bunch of channels like you have five channels on this CXR that's going to be rendered uh, so the nuke guys can shuffle those channels and just fit in their comps so let's start out by changing the color of this so let's say we need a different color or whatever and what I'm going to do here is just like let's change all those plates and just to to have a good example of how that's gonna work so here you have the shot so you see that every time we change the color let's change again uh, maybe let's change the other shots too. Maybe change the color. You can see there. Uh, so let's change that for another. Let's say, yep, the original color back. Uh, and maybe here we can play with that. Maybe add a new text that you can just really see it. Let's add here in the image, put those screens are 4 by 3 maybe let's put like a red so I can see it better. So we have this, we have an update comp, and then let's render that out on the new EXR file. 
because it's all the same name that means it's gonna be replaced on the new script so it's render all those shots in one single EXR and here we have updates as you can see there now here's a new color so let's start that again let's say let's change that again for another version here Let's make this more visible by change the uh, repo a little bit. So, like that. On this shot, let's add a new name on it. So here it is, new versions of all the shots. We render again, and then when we go back here in Nuke. That's one of frame next to update, and then we have it all being updated. This, I think, it's really cool workflow, and uh, I've been using that for a while, and it's really powerful because it looks the same software. You don't need to worry about rendering and stuff, you know. But there is uh, a downside of this EXR rendering, which is you lose the contest of things you always have to re-render stuff which is uh, which is good because it's just one file but it's still not piping in on the on the on the back so I have a second example for that yeah, I'm going to show you right now let's say my second example is like Let's say if I want to connect for each, so instead of having pre-cache, we actually have all in batch and live, so has the uh, sync call. Uh, so let's try that again. So we have all the shots here, all over again. So let's say we've been working there for a while, and on the, on the other side, uh, on the new side, they've been working on the, all the tracking, uh, on all the how they comping those screens, make the real thing, all the blur or whatever, so all been done all in the same time. Uh, so here, what I did, I can, because I'm connecting directly to the Nook script live, uh, I can just work as a contest in comp, how it was in flame. So let's say I want to blur that a little bit. Let's say, let's blur that. And let's put a contact on the nuke script. And let's see what's happening there. So let's blur that shot a little bit more. And in the moment I change here, as you can see, it gets update there. So maybe it was not that much, so let's try more. Yes, yeah, so let's try like a heavier blur here, so just so you can visually see what's going on. Uh, as you can see, it's been updating live on batch, so you don't need to be worried about you no know, going out, opening Nuke again, re-render stuff. It's really like very creative and fast to how it was in batch and I've been playing and using that in production and live and real projects and it's really really powerful workflow in my opinion uh, let's do the same thing on this shot here uh, as you can see if you change it it's really go and it's really fast that's that's the thing to look like it's been comp and flame actually so it's it's, it's it's actually not about like nuke and flame it's just about one seamless single tool it, that's what I've been doing for my own workflow and then you can just render I'm gonna just render maybe 
what I can do is show what is happening nuke side just in case uh, so if I hit editor here you can see that it just open nuke directly I don't need to even go to the server and reopening that so you can see here it's uh, it's open nuke I like to work in this for workspace but what I built here was this is coming from flame so and here and also all my shots are coming from flame uh, this is the EXR mood channel if the remember on the other example so you can see here we have different results uh, all, all baking one single EXR mood channel so you can easily use that or on this example here I'm using live from flame so it's just like a 3d tracking happening and some card in this space some projection node and some prepping uh, edges to fit the 4x3 then I have a key light for the first shot for the first TV and then I have some blending to have the lights back and I'm putting back to flame so and here I have two because one is the mats for each TV and one it's uh, actually the uh, RGB channel for our rendering so if I close Nuke now and I'm back to flame and that's it you can see when we scroll it's really fast if you think about it and Nuke side was doing like a lot of stuff it's projection it's a uh, it's a uh, it's 3d tracking and stuff so I can easily go here and change it and here is my rendering I, actually what I'm going to do here is just show you uh, some 10 seconds 10 frames render just so you guys have an idea how it's to render that thing uh, as you can see here it's just asking for not even 30 seconds uh, to render 10 frames so it's it's uh, my opinion really fast and powerful workflow because of that Run color space, go yeah, to yeah, linear, yeah. and here's the render. Uh, there's nothing, there is no secrets in this, and you know, we all know how what to do for this shot. But this is, for the example, uh, I render the whole thing again just in case, so you can see that everything is working. It plays the tracking; it's there. This is the tracking is not actually. You don't lost that, and because uh, on the workflow, so. That, that was it, that was it for the my second demo which was about the, my workflow between Nuke and Flame using Pybox uh, okay let's move on now for my third demo of the night that was about, it was the same thing the Pybox but in a, a heavier workflow which I'm using Eddy to do some particle simulations and rendering those in batch as you can see here this is really heavy particles and lots lots of particles actually to render that so this is all being rendering flame this is all being rendering batch so all the lights are controlling in flame so I can control the lights of the uh, of the environment I'm mean, also using the background as an environment for shading the smoke so so we can see the tones there the blacks and everything's there